Now in this part of the question, we've got the graph then of y equals f of x. And we're asked to sketch the graph of y equals 2 f of x plus 1. Now this consists of two transformations. Let's just trace over the graph of f of x. So if we do that, there it is there in red. Now when it comes to drawing f of x plus 1, what that does is translate the original graph of f of x one unit to the left parallel to the x-axis. So if I was to translate this graph, shift it across, say, one unit, it would look, say, something like that. This point here, for instance, will now be at 4 across, 4 up. This point here would be minus 6 units across, 4 units down, have coordinates minus 6, minus 4. Well, that is the graph of just f of x plus 1. But now, when we put a 2 here, what does that do? Well, essentially, it stretches the graph parallel to the y-axis by a factor of 2. So, for instance, if I took this point here, it's this distance up. I need to double that distance. I need to stretch it, as we call it, okay, parallel to the y-axis. So let's imagine that that point there goes to there. What would happen, say, to this point here? Well, it's that distance up, so it's going to be twice as far up. And what happens to this point? Well, that's going to be twice as far up, so it's about there. But this point, which is on the x-axis, stays put. Take a point like this. It's now, say, that distance below the x-axis, so we just double that, so it's about there, say. And if we take this point here, we double that distance away from the x-axis, and that will be, say, somewhere there. This point here, well, that's going to stay put. And this point here, well, it's going to be, say, roughly about there if I double that distance. So all I need to do now is just carefully join the dots up and I'll get my curve. So if we just do that, what we get is something like this. We also need to state the coordinates of A and B. Well, if we want to do that, then clearly the new coordinate of B here, let's call it B prime, what happened to it? Well, it went one unit to the left, so it now had coordinates of negative 6, negative 4, but then we kept it in line here, so it's going to still have the x coordinate of negative 6, but because it went 4 down and we doubled it, it's now 8 down, so minus 6, minus 8 for that point. As for A, it went 1 unit to the left, so it's now at 4, 4, so we stretched it 2 units parallel to the y-axis, so it now became 4, 8. So we've got this point up here, let's just mark it in, A prime at 4, 8. So you have your new coordinates a prime and B prime. Okay, so hopefully you've been able to follow that and that brings us to the end of this question.